Okay, man. All right, and we're live. Welcome, everybody, to Directional Influence, episode 56, I guess. The special for Smash 4. I guess it's not really the episode 56 that we wanted. It's more yeah. the it's Smash more like a special, like a special like revival episode, yeah. I guess. Oh, the revival of DI? Yeah. The revival of DI. We haven't done an episode since February of 2012. And here we are, a week after the announcement of Smash 4, to talk mm -hmm. about Smash 4. Word. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Dakota, a.k.a. Rapture. I'm here with Will, the Will main. What's up, guys? And then, of course, uh, this is all being brought to you guys by Mark, a.k.a. Chibo. What's up? Flash. Thank you for doing this for us. You're very Much welcome. Much appreciated. Um, so, before you guys get into this, uh, Directional Influence was a show that we did for uh, mostly Brawl. It sort of covered Smash overall, but it ended up being more Brawl-focused over time. Uh, that we started in August 2012. And we ran it for about a year and a half until February 2000... I'm sorry, August 2010. August 2010, and then it ended in February 2012. Uh, 55 episodes. You guys can go uh, actually listen to them. They're still on the interwebs. And... Uh, where can people listen to them real quick? Sorry oh, to interject. Yeah. No, you guys can listen to them at uh, vvgaming.com. So vvv-gaming.com. Cool. Go to the forums. And uh, there's a special little segment there. That's a uh, throwback. It is. It is. Uh, we were originally brought to you guys by the Gamers Garage, but then we ended up being completely brought to you guys by VV Gaming mm -hmm. for a full 55 episodes. And nice. uh, we're here at Clash Tournaments to give you guys another episode. The future of DI is really uncertain. We're not sure who's going to be included, but we decided to get the crew together, or two-thirds of it, plus Chivo, to talk some Smash 4 and, uh, you know, bring a little of that DI vibe back. Yeah. So, with that said, I want to actually get right into it because we're not going to be doing this for too long because, mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to be doing it for too long. Fuck you guys, I'm not doing it for this long. Uh, <laughs> so, of course, the biggest news, which we want to like really get through really quickly, is the announcement of the Villager, the Wii Fit Trainer, and the Mega Man, the Mega, Mega Man, <laughs> as um, the new characters, which was really hype. Mm -hmm. I'm maining Villager, uh, Yoga Pants is hype, and Mega Man is obviously hype. Um, any any lasting thoughts on those guys before we move on? Because I don't want to spend too much time on them. Well, I'm definitely gonna bandwagon with the whole everyone like maining Mega Man thing. I'm pretty sure 90% of people are gonna play Mega Man. Mm -hmm. His meta game will probably be exhausted within the first few months, but that way we'll figure out whether he's good or not like really quickly. So, and I'm pretty sure that Mitsu King will have a lot to do with that because he'll like <laughs> yeah. break break the character wide open. But Mega I don't know if you guys noticed. That uh, Sakurai did that accidental B reverse when he was playing in the demo with the leaf shield. So it looks like there's still a. Oh, I didn't see that one. I thought yeah. I saw, there's one with linked okay. arrow. There's a B reverse, but I didn't see the leaf shield one. Yeah, when he was fighting as I think um, it was the like Mario, and when yeah, he was in the air, oh. he activated the leaf shield and he actually shifted momentum, and uh, so nice. it shows that that mechanic still in there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and some people were saying that there wasn't edge snap in that demo. But there was Edge Snap in the trailers. So some people are speculating that they're different builds, which, I mean, there's going to be, like, tons of builds yeah. as the game goes on in development. But, you know, it, it sort of wonder, like makes you wonder how willing they are to make changes to the game mm -hmm. per build, you know? Uh, whether or not they're going to be like, you know, what they do with Brawl, like, get rid of all this crap and let's make sure that's not there. Yo, uh, why are they showing DK get hit around like a pinwall? I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he got destroyed, like, immediately in the first <laughs> gameplay of the trailer. Um, do we know, like, what those edge snaps we saw were like? Like, I remember, like, there was one version of Brawl Plus eons ago, or maybe it was even, like, all versions Brawl of Brawl Plus, Plus where, like, God. you could... <laughs> I know, right? It's just, it's just what was on my mind right now, I guess. Um, you couldn't grab the ledge backwards, but like you would still snap forward. Like there's different kinds of edge snapping. Like it's not really just an end all snap or not. So they could be doing like a hybrid of melee and brawl snapping and stuff. So right, that's always possible. Mega Man does spike DK, so DK got even. Yo, by the way, Mega Man's like meteor smash, like spike thing. Mhm. Mm like he can not spike somebody to shoot something down and like be really zoned. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Hopefully, uh, people learn how to read that, so I don't see that all the time. Hopefully, it's clashable, so that it's not just like broken. I'm but... down for clashable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for anything. I think he's. I don't think he's gonna be that good. I hope he's not that good. Who Mega Man? Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling it. He's no better than mid tier, in my opinion. We fit trainers into being the new Meta Knight. 
Uh, no, she's too big. Yo, she has like the tornado, the fucking, <laughs> bro, like the the hula hoop thing. That's pretty much the new NATO. But yeah, I definitely agree with Will, and that Mega Man's like such a hype character, especially if M2K likes him, that his meta game is gonna be like one of the first to be like completely discovered. So that's gonna be like really good definitely. for the competitive scene, and we'll know soon if he's good or not. Well, at the very least, we'll be able to see like the depth of these characters in this game. Yeah. How, how quickly can we really like flesh out a character competitively? Exactly, and just like with the way we share information nowadays, like in 2013, as compared to 2008 when Brawl came out, like we're gonna be learning so much quicker than we did oh, with absolutely. Brawl. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean th that's something that's been a huge thing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, because you know, with the you know YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's comparing like Marvel two to Marvel three. Mm -hmm. You know, Marvel 2, you didn't have the luxury of, you know, uh, YouTube and all that. So, well, I mean, we'll see. I think it'll be more or less the same as it has been in Brawl, but it all depends on, you know, what, like, the Miiverse can provide, mm -hmm. what the game itself could provide. We don't know. They could put in something cool other than, like, the, the five-minute demos of, like, random classic Nintendo games. That yeah. Played. <laughs> um, it's sort of cool, I guess. It was sort of cool. Uh, moving on, though... Uh, Talking about the roster, though, we're gonna stay. On, we, we're gonna stay on characters for a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to other news. Uh, it came out that the both rosters will have a, the exact same amount and you know characters, mm -hmm. but the roster size itself will be limited due to the 3DS. So, what are your thoughts on that, Will? So that's only so that the 3DS version can be compatible with the Wii U version. That's I would assume it's. What it is. I would assume it's a mixture of compatibility, and they want to have a full experience on both. So that you can like up, like fight with and or upgrade your character and or me, which has been hinted at in the 3DS version, and then like transfer them over somehow to the Wii U version. I, I would assume so. Uh, I mean, they said that there's not going to be any cross-platform play. That's yeah. One. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, they said something about. Um, they said something about. The DS version being a more single-player experience, while the uh, console version being a more multiplayer experience. So I think something along the lines of customization and possibly may maybe that's where you'll see like the stage builder show up, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'm honestly thinking that there's going to be like different, like they're going to have the same amount of things, but not necessarily the same modes or you know that kind of thing. We may see like more customization building kind of stuff in the mm -hmm. portable version whereas the multiplayer version is going to be more about the competitiveness of the game which is good to hear so. yeah i think it's a little unfortunate that they might limit what's available on in terms of characters but i mean hopefully that'll lead to quality over quantity mm -hmm. which is always which is always good i'm i'm for all for that so uh ninja link you, you know i agree and to be honest, I am not at all in favor of a portable version limiting the console version. As much as I want to play Smash portably, mm -hmm. everybody does. And I'm going to buy the 3DS version, obviously. However, knowing now in retrospect that it's going to be limiting things, I'm not happy. Because Smash is supposed to be a very... It's, it's, it's Smash. It's supposed to be a really big, full experience, you know? And it's, it is really... It is made for consoles. So... You, you know, you have to balance, well, do we want to play it on portables, but the console version's not as good, or we want to make the console version as really, you know, as best as possible and have no portable version, mm -hmm. even though the 3DS is right now Nintendo's biggest seller. So I'm sure that they're, you know, thinking, well, I mean, Smash is going to sell... I mean, they're pretty much looking at the money. You know, you got two versions of Smash. Everyone's going to buy both versions. I think so. people are just overacting a little bit because, I mean, is the 3DS more limited than the Wii U? I mean, yeah, it's obvious. But, like, a game like Even Brawl, which had, I think, 40 characters, if you uh, count all the transformations, duplicates, and things like that, um, I think they're more just kind of saying, like, we can't have this dream roster of, like, 100 characters, because that wouldn't fit on the 3DS. But, like, I don't think we'll really have, like, a gimped experience. Like, I think it'll still be full enough. It just won't be, like, the world. Like, we went yeah. from, like, 12 characters to 25 characters to 40 characters. I think they're just saying we're not going to have, like, 70 or 80. We're probably going to have, like, yeah. no more than 50, well, which isn't a bad thing. No, I, I agree, but that's why I'm, I'm speculating, you know, what could those limitations be? I'm not necessarily being saying that it'll be worse than, like, Brawl mm -hmm. in terms of limitations. I'm saying what could have happened if there was no 3DS version? What could, what could they have done? Because, I mean, they want to impro improve on the online. 
They want to improve on the gameplay itself. They want to improve on this. They want to improve on that. Well, some of those resources, you know, get divided up because you got to do that over two games. Mm -hmm. So now you got to think about, well, what could the game, what, what, you know, the game could have been something without the 3DS version, and could have been better. How much better? That's the kind of speculation that people are like, uh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the 3DS version because it's sort of limiting what we could see on the console. Well, it's, one thing that's interesting is that uh, in terms of talking about Nintendo and HD, because one of the biggest differences between the 3DS and the Wii U is aside from how much space it can hold is the one is the fact that 3DS's resolution is very low. Wii is an HD system now. And uh, when Nintendo was making Pikmin 3 for the Wii U, I remember Miyamoto specifically saying, like, this is like the definitive version of Pikmin, and he said it's one of the best games that they can make to take advantage of HD because you're doing a lot of micromanagement. There's so many small models and textures in the game because of the detail that the HD really brings out. And if you think of a character like Almar, who's managing smaller characters uh, in Brawl, it's going to be harder to kind of keep track of Pikmin in, like, the 3DS version, so maybe that could be, like, that's, like, an example well, that's why of a limitation. They like yeah. the outlines, and sh I think that's part of the reason. And that helps well, that's like small that's characters. That's assuming Olimar's back. I assume he is. But if you have like an Olimar like this big, and like a Pikmin that's like this big, it could start to be like a little bit more, um, like tougher to kind of follow on a 3DS version. So I'm sure Pikmin and Olimar will be back because of Pikmin 3. But like, it's just like something to think of. like that's a potential limitation is like dealing with things that small in a character. Yeah. Um, I hope they come out with like uh, a 3DS XL version for like Smash. Because the bigger screen. It's I mean. still the same resolution. It doesn't change anything. It's mm -hmm. not? I thought the screen was bigger. It's bigger, but it's the same resolution. So it's really... Yeah, the 3DS XL is a 90% oh, okay. okay. bigger screen. So it's just mm -hmm. going to be easier to see. Yeah, it's I guess, like... I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's like running like a 20-inch computer monitor, like a 28-inch monitor, but they're the same resolution. Like, the detail is the same. It's just physically bigger. Right. Um, I would whoever's saying that on stream. I, I assume the original twelve will be back. I'm pretty hundred percent sure Luigi will be in the game. That's like the last character I feel like you should worry about, <laughs> other than Mario and shit. It's the year of Luigi. They're gonna speaking leave of characters though. Um, not that we weren't speaking about them this entire time, but recently, as in today, and yesterday sorta, um, Mewtwo was. You know, hinted at, and well, here's what happened. So there was a last week there was a developers roundtable for Pokemon X and Y. It just so happened that Sakurai, who you know the designer for Smash Bros, was in the the audience. And when they brought up Mewtwo's new form for X and Y, Sakurai yelled from the crowd that they're thinking about it. Really? Which could, yeah. Which That's could awesome. mean absolutely fucking nothing, and I think it means absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> um, however, because I played Mewtwo in Melee, even though he was ass cheeks. And because I love Mewtwo, because he's my favorite Pokemon, I would love to see him back. Which is why I'm really hopeful that that's true. What do you guys think? Mewtwo coming back? Yes or no? Do you want him to? Do you think it's likely? What do you think? I mean, I don't think Sakurai would mention it if he wasn't thinking about it. So, I mean, but and though it's, it's pretty exciting the way that they were showing that they're doing uh, new moves for a lot of characters. So they could probably make Mewtwo, Mewtwo a better character. So I'd be pretty excited for that. I mean, he was Mewtwo. Like, why was he so bad? He's the, he's fucking Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I I I mean, they have the 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 new form that's gonna be in X and Y. If I'm 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 sorry, Pokemon fans, I don't know. Uh, I think it's called the Awakened form or something. I think there's one of them. Even though I could have sworn there there was gonna be two, and they didn't announce the second one. But I know there's at least one confirmed. Mm -hmm. I would assume that. Dire, are, Dire, are you trolling? Because that needs to happen. Um, you, see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, it is the Awakened form, and I'm, I mean, I would assume it's either Mewtwo turning into the Awakened form, or the Awakened form being by himself. Maybe it'd be cool if there's some sort of transformation back to Mewtwo, which would be really hype, because seeing, like, HD Mewtwo, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I, I assume the Awakened form has something to do with it, though. Mm -hmm. With that said, considering that, I mean, Lucario was put in Brawl around the same time, Lucario was supposed to be this, like, new character to represent Diamond and Pearl, and he was only in the movie, and he really wasn't, like, any character important. Um, I, I think the, the chances are good. I don't think Sakurai would have just said that. I think it was a joke, but I think, at this point, the Wii Fit trainers in the game, anyone's possible. <laughs> and with Mewtwo sort of coming back into relevance, you know, Pokemon-wise, they're mm -hmm. having, like, a new movie about him and, and whatever. Um, I think it's pretty likely, and I would love to see it happen. So I, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I think even like with the 
popularity that Mewtwo might be getting just from the Awakened form as being like the new part of X and Y. I think the original Mewtwo is like classic enough for Sakurai standards to put in this match. So like even though we have like Mega Man X and Battle Network and like all these crazy things, it's the NES Mega Man that made it into Smash Bros. Right. So even if Mewtwo's popular from the new thing, I feel like he'd be more willing to put the original Mewtwo in regardless of transformations or awakened forms or whatnot. That's why I think it's going to be a transformation, like mm -hmm. Zelda Sheik. That's what, that's what I assume. Uh, and it'd be cool because if you think about it, you know, Zelda and Sheik are, they're not similar characters how they play, obviously. But they're similar. They're both like human, you know, characters. They, they're the same height and, you know, height. Um, whereas with Mewtwo's different forms, you know, they could do something pretty interesting where Mewtwo and his awakened form are very different. Mm -hmm. You know, size, weight, look, everything. So, and the more information we hear, the more we can learn about yeah. what he could do. So, there's um, always that possibility of, you know, the, they can have, they can include Mewtwo, they can revamp him, they can make his final smash, the final form or another form. Or I like that idea. Yeah, I like him yeah. turning awakened form for a final smash. Right. Quickly though, since I feel like we're still, this is going to be our uh, last little topic about the characters. Um, who do you, who are your, like. Who do you really want in the game that hasn't been in? Like, who do you like? Who hasn't shown up ever? Who do you want to be in the game? For me, the only two characters I care about that aren't in the game are King K. Rool and Ridley. And King K. Rool, I do not think will be in it because he hasn't showed up in a Donkey Kong game since like 2007. And Ridley should be in it, but Sakurai's <laughs> lame. Dakota, you know what's funny about that is that people have been posting the original Melee release trailer at E3 back in 2001, mm -hmm. I believe it was. And people got the most hyped when they saw Samus fighting Ridley on the screen. And it's because yeah. they saw Ridley. So Ridley was, really deserves perfect. to be in the game. He was perfect. Like, <laughs> like, was size and everything. Everything. And, and they're like, nope, trailer. But um, personally, I definitely was excited about the possible news and or hint hinting at. Um, I know Lloyd is a very popular character. From the Tales series, mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll possibly include him, maybe, but that would be awesome. I mean, and I Isaac yes. should have been in Brawl, but he was uh, made an assist trophy. I will main Isaac if he's in the next okay, Smash because choice. Golden Sun is like my favorite series of all mm -hmm. time, at least for for portable systems. <clears throat> what about you, Chibo? If I had to pick anybody, it'd be um, <laughs> the one character is Waluigi because oh my god, kill <laughs> I'm He's sorry, such a lame and terrible character I that hate, no, I hate, uh, it. I hate it. I wouldn't even get enjoyment from beating the shit out of him. See in training. how upset you are right now is exactly why I want him it, in the game. It makes me so my my jimmies get so rustled. Exactly, <laughs> I want to go to I tournaments and just rustle name. people's jimmies with with Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi will be the most troll character of exactly. all time. So I, I was actually look forward to that. Oh, and then the well. other character is Duckles because he's by far my favorite character in the Sonic universe. And like oh. the uh, fact that Sonic's already in the no, game, dude, then Duckles they is, announced gliding, and then Duckles there's also wall cool. clanging. It's like he's Duckles, made for the Smash engine. Knuckles is the swag of the Sonic series. I hope exactly. Isn't it? I hope Chibo's in the game too. <laughs> Put Chibo on Brawl. <laughs> I'm I'm really hoping Reggie gets in the game. That'd Imagine. Be cool. Well, if you have like Mies, then <laughs> no, you could no, put no, Reggie. No, 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 no. I want like a legit full. Fully modeled Reggie <laughs> character. I don't want a me. I want a full-on Reggie character. Rob was in it, and he's not a video game character. Rob, having Rob back in it would also be cool, I guess. Yeah, but like, main Rob. Well, a lot of people like on Facebook saying like, "Yo, if Rob's on Smash Four, I guess Chibo's not going to stream anymore." Like, I played Melee before for all, so like, I don't need Rob. But he's you have cool. you have Samus. Samus. Oh my God. Samus will we... be returning. Good thing she looks like other M. <laughs> I like the model. All right, can we talk like thirty seconds about Samus and how god tier her F smash is in this game? Oh uh, yeah. It Wait, I haven't seen it. Terrible. Oh my god. All right, I need to like change the video over to the the first trailer because this shit is cray. Meanwhile, I want you guys to imagine what Isaac's final smash would be in the new, in the new Smash. I, it would be amazing. It would probably be Ragnarok. There would be a giant sword like coming out of the sky, crashing into the stage, and it would be like the coolest move ever. It would kill everything. Will Will's voice slowly trailed off because he was like getting emotionally invested. I was just like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just dreaming about it right now. Man can dream. But um, yeah, fuck Waluigi. Wow, you're so <laughs> mad right now. I hate, I hate that character. Waluigi and Daisy. Fuck them. They don't. They don't deserve to be in a Smash game. Will, can you see the video on the stream by any chance? I can right now. I'm looking at All it. All right. 
You're gonna well, see Samus in just a little bit, and her F smash is like three frames with extended hitbox, potential fire property. Like what? It's the most yeah. like when we all watched the trailer like, when it first came out. Like that was the move. Everybody was like, "Yo." They seriously yeah. changed, like buffed the hell out of Samus's F-Smash. Here's the thing. First Speaking of F-Smashes, right they, should give is, Falcon, uh, they should give Falcon his Smash 64 F-Smash back. That was I a agree. sweet F-Smash. Yes, the, the yeah kick was the, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I agree. They should bring that back. Uh, I don't think Samus is going to, I don't know, like, they in the in the little direct that Sakurai did, the 8-minute thing where he showed off Samus, like, he was like, it's, we didn't just copy her over from Brawl. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. She's going to be fucking ass again. Is the F smash <laughs> coming? Did I miss it? And they're just like, oh, but, you know, it looks like... Yeah, I also went back to a couple other times. M. Yes. Okay. I'm like, I didn't see it. Show us again. Um, she looks... She has her updated other M look with new metal and dark lines. It looks nice. I hate other M. It's such a crappy game. Like, in in the clip, Samus does an F tilt to the left. And then an F smash to the right, and it's like, why would anybody ever use F tilt if F smash is like faster, has more range, and is stronger? I mean, it's a, it's a trailer where they're just like showing off moves. I mean, if you look, that, that's like looking at the screenshots on the Smash Bros site where there's all like four characters air dodging at each other. Hey, we can dream. Like, like <laughs> that's what Smash looks like. No, it doesn't. That's not at all what it looks like. Samus is garbage in Brawl. I'm sad. Oh, she's garbage. Absolutely garbage. Rob is more melee Samus than Brawl Samus is. <laughs> um, what do you think about Sakurai's tech skill? I'm pretty sure Sakurai has claimed that he's like really garbage at the game. He probably has the. the... I think he there's visual evidence of that. Well, he did but... beat that guy with Mega Man. But that he, guy... It was in sudden death. He he was a, no, he's an opportunist. Like, that's he the most competitive man. part about the game. <laughs> I mean, by the way, that commentary. Oh God. For that video was the. Really? I think <laughs> that was the so single good. worst. All right, that guy was the most commentary I've ever heard. Mother, they probably dude, grabbed dude, some oh random God. employee and he's like, "He's gonna do another move. He's gonna do another move. He's gonna take <laughs> a left hoping, turn." I was hoping someone he's gonna take would take a like, left turn. I would just hear like someone slap him in the background because uh, it was like it was it was kind of silly. And boom but, goes the dynamite. Pew pew pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Mega, look at Mario versus Mega Man. He had like cliche <laughs> phrases too. What was he saying? Like, boom goes the dynamite. Uh, boom. He said boom, boom goes, goes the boom dynamite. goes the dynamite was a phrase that was actually said in in, props, in a props public that, place. Though. Yes. In a public place. Terrible. He said like I would feel Isn't bad. That like an Anchorman quote. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe he was making like subtle Anchorman references. Now we have to go back. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, all right, so let's move on from there. I want to move on to the next section of news that we have since mm -hmm. we're doing two. Uh, we're gonna move away from characters, and now we're gonna talk about the other news that came out mostly since um, last week and now. First of all, no tripping. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. more tripping <laughs> in Smash Bros. It's pretty important, but if Ice Climbers come back, then that just makes them better. Or or we ban ice climbers. No, it's overrated anyway, and bro. There's a possibility that Fuck. they'll their mechanics will be changed. But I mean, tripping was annoying. They're, but they're, I I mean I can't really complain too much because I I won my fair share of sets where people tripped into my <laughs> giant punch game three, so I can't complain. But no, that's definitely gonna be good for like competitive aspect yes, for sure. Yes, very very good. I feel like oh. with uh, with Namco behind the game, they're like helping out that Ice Climbers will not have, like, insane chain grabs, though. Because I'm pretty sure, like, at least them as a company will realize that that's not a good thing. I don't know. I mean, uh, they made, uh, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I think that's the reason why no tripping's in it, because, like, they probably, the soccer is like, look at this cool mechanic we have. It's called tripping. And they all, like, <laughs> laugh at him. Because no. there's no way that's a <laughs> legit mechanic. Like, it's really fun when somebody trips for doing nothing. Like, I didn't understand the argument. Like, it's really, it's more fun for casuals. And what is like, the knockback? I think that's fun. What is the knockback on that bowling ball yeah. thing that Village has? Well, yeah. we don't know what percent he was at. Yeah. That's Otherwise, so scary. It was it's scary looking. Oh, just in general, damage and knockback seems to be incredibly increased in this game over yeah. other Smash titles. So maybe, they noticed, the combo ability, maybe they noticed that like, in Brawl that the percentages like got a little high like compared to melee. So they go if they're going for a balance, it seemed like it was it was heading that way. Yeah. Well, they could it. always change it just that way, like um 
th- throws themselves at more knockback in general. Mm-hmm. Something like that. I don't know. They could. I mean, they could do something like a universal fix for just throws in general. Uh, by the way, I don't believe that tripping is out for characters that can trip you. Like, I think you can still get tripped by an attack or yeah. like Diddy's bananas. I'm talking about random tripping that you can do just by initiating a dash. Yeah. Or walk. But like, you can still like like some characters have you know like Kirby's down tilt trips. That'll still trip. That's still um, random though. But not no. as much because it is move influenced. It's yeah, it's, it's not influence. random because you have to do the move to do it. The chances are random, yes, but there's no actual, like, random, like, there's, it's not like you input the move and you could get a yeah. random trip, you know? It's either you input the move and you get a random tripping effect for your opponent. Yeah. So, I think that'll, I think that'll stay. Um, I would hope so. I mean, I don't know why, the, I, tripping itself is fine as long as it's not random. Mm-hmm. So, uh... What else? We also have multiple air dodges are still in the game. And Was there actually any clips that showed a sing- like two air dodges before somebody I'm, land? I wanna, well, I wanna say that one of the not the well, I think one of the trailers I could have sworn Bowser would do like two air dodges, but Sakurai himself said two air do- more than more than one. He air did dodge. okay. He he said it to somebody. That's yeah. Said. At least the animation of what they showed still looks like it was just the the neutral falling. Uh, brawl air dodge, not yeah, the like, directional Yeah, it's definitely one. the the brawl air dodge. I just didn't know because I it remember... is the brawl air dodge. It, it is like you can you can. But they see can just it. limit it like once per time in the air, like and it has to refresh, kind of like a double jump, which is always. I possible. mean, I just want them. I don't like I don't like the idea of that kind. Of, I like the melee air dodge because it's tactical. You can't just like you can't oh uh, spam that shit. Not that you should. I'm saying that you can't just like. I don't know, the melee air dodge has more tech, you know, just outside of, you know, wave, wave dash or anything like that, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to commit to it, because otherwise you can get really severely punished. There's only, you know, the, the punishing a brawl air dodge is different than punishing a melee air dodge. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I enjoy the melee air dodge more. Even outside what it brings to the table mechanically and in terms of techniques, I like the air dodge more. So. Yeah. Now, did you guys hear about, I don't know... I, I'm not entirely up to date, but I heard that it was possibly changed that air battles would now involve tra- uh, clashing. Yes, you can see and that on, in, on the um, ground. Yeah, like you can clash. Like, yeah. Range well, no, base. I don't. I don't think that was confirmed because you can see it in the gameplay video of the Mega Man vs Mario. But that... okay, but well, right, you're right. But I have a feeling that the move that had happened in it was a proje- it's part projectile. Like, like it, a transcendent what? type move. Like, it has fire and shit coming off it. It looked like a... I want to see it with a, with a neutral air or something that's not... Doesn't have this huge flame yeah, you, coming out. You need to yeah. test it with, like, two test characters with... with air normals. Exactly. That... Like with a well, shouldn't projectiles not even clash anyway? Like, if anything, that makes it, like, more of an awkward situation that, like... That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm not. I want. To, I don't want to 100% confirm it, because it looks weird. Mm. Like, it doesn't... I don't... If we had more instances of it, I would be... You know, I'd be happy with speculating, but mm-hmm. it was one instance, and it was with a really janky-looking move for Mega Man. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, yes, we put we should put interactables in Smash Four. I think those are called items. Um, but I agree with like stage intera- interactables. Mm-hmm. I, items are back. There's has been I know one items are so back. far <laughs> confirmed. I mean, yeah, obviously because because Smash. Sma- Smash with no <clears throat> items. The, but we've the only thing seen that, one item so far. In, in the all thing the that trailers. surprised me more than anything was that even in their demo with Sakurai playing versus that dude with the terrible commentary in the background, mm-hmm. is that they weren't playing with items, exactly. and that really shocked me. Well, Sakurai like, doesn't play with items. I, I was like, wow. I heard he doesn't is, play with um, items. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think just in general, uh, everything that they've done with the Smash Four reveal has been like a lot more kind of key towards competitive play like they didn't show any items in the first reveal no in any of the reveal trailers the only time we saw an item was the uh the developer direct which is playing now is you see the villager grab a capsule that's it but uh no items um they specifically went out of their way their way to mention it's a little bit more like melee in terms of brawl like between it like everything just felt a little bit more geared towards like us basically well we know smash balls are in the game we've yes. seen already art about that i'm interested to see well i mean we know the Wii Fit Trainer has that um, colors, rave kind of yeah. move. Um, Mega Man has, I don't think they confirmed that. I think no, it's. We don't no. have his final smash and yet. And then the villager, we don't know either. No. Uh, which I, I hope it's Tom Nook or something. <laughs> like maybe Tom Nook like throws down a mortgage on you. 
and you have to like attack people to get the pay off the debt or something. <laughs> oh, I'd be, I'd be pretty broken though. Um, yeah, I, I would assume items are not ready. Uh, at first, I yeah, actually that, thought that's that probably that, true. I heard that the new pit move that he has, which I think is um, replacing, from the looks of it, his his side B shield, um, that like uppercut, the raptor boost thing, yeah. Yeah, I. Th I, that looked like an item to me at first, because it looked like this really like weird looking like like glove thing. But then apparently it's only Pitt's move, so um, that's interesting. I thought it would be a completely new attack. <clears throat> um, okay, so yeah, and then we have um, no DLC is planned for the game, but it's not out of the question. Which is good. That's like the best thing they could have on good. it. Because that's a really good thing to announce because that's 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 like saying we are not Capcom, yeah. even though Mega Man is in this game. Well, they you, I mean, you will get what you pay for. Sakurai exactly. wants to focus on making a complete game, you know. So the fact that they're not really worried about DLC because they want to include it all in the game, double thumbs up. I'm all about it. I'm not necessarily against buying DLC. I just want it to be good DLC mm -hmm. that, that didn't necessarily like. You know, like something that didn't necessarily have to like be in the original game. You know, like it, it, there's so many different things they could do with DLC in terms of Smash. But the yeah. fact that they're like, you know what, we're not going to do it. It's we're open to the idea. And that's uh, that's that's exactly the, the mindset I want, and I'm really happy about that. And if we're having like one Smash game per system, like four years down the line, we're still going to be a while away from the next Smash game. So I'm exactly. sure then they could be like, all right, fine, I guess we'll make a couple of new things. Because both the Wii U and 3DS can do DLC, and Nintendo has done it even for their own games, so they have the technology to do it. At the very least, it means that, well, I mean, I, I would assume patches are um, definitely, like, a possibility, because Brawl couldn't be patched, for yeah. whatever reason. I mean, it technically could, but it I'm was sure such it a could hurdle. Have, but fuck them, it, it couldn't yeah. get patched. Like, when uh -huh. Wii Sports Resort came out, there was, like, a game-breaking glitch in it, and in order to patch the game... They had to re like release an entire Wii system update. That's how hard it was to do a game patch. Well, wasn't there something about um, Skyward Sword that like? That was just a glitch that could be fixed in the save file, not the actual okay. game code. So okay. they released a channel to modify the game code. But like for Wii Sports Resort, they legit had to make a whole new uh, console version like update just to fix one game. Right. Okay. Which is sad. <laughs> I mean, but at the very least, I hope. Now here's the thing that I. You know, the thing about Smash and the fact that it can't get patched is that, you know, you, you can see this in other games. The community reaction to the game can really have a huge sway with patches. And let's take Mortal Kombat and Injustice, for example. Mm -hmm. Both games have been very mm -hmm. heavily patched early on in their, um, you know, in their lifespans. That happened in Mortal Kombat. So was Marvel, yeah, yeah, with the Sentinel and, health mm -hmm. nerf. Well, Marvel, yeah, Mar Marvel hasn't gotten a patch like very recently, other than like Ultimate, really. Yeah, uh, Sentinel didn't deserve that. Health Sentinel nerf. did not deserve the health nerf, but it was because everyone was like, "Oh, Sentinel's too broken, too broken." I'm interested to see whether or not that kind of reaction will have a huge sway or not a huge sway on patches. I think it's going to have like less than a huge sway, but it's interesting to see because we've never really been in this situation before to have a Smash game patched, other mm -hmm. than when Melee got sort of patched between the European and North American version. Mm -hmm. um, other than that. This is a really big first, and I'm interested to see how how they'll approach it. Because I don't, you know, will they be like, oh, we want to make sure this is patched? Because it's sort of more of a competitive kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They don't really care about competitive play. They could give fuck all about a patch. Yeah. But if they really do care and they want and they do see some imbalances, you know, are they going to be lenient with it? Are they going to be like bad, you know, chop, chop, chop? We're going to patch this, or what? You know, it's a it's something that we've never seen before yeah. for a Smash game. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm looking at some questions in the chat. Uh, one, I want to answer one. Uh, Espeon fan said, "What is your thoughts on the 3DS and Wii U version being unable to interact with each other apart from customization?" All right, we sort of talked about this earlier, but we didn't really talk about this specific question. Um, as we said, there's no cross-platform play, but you should be able to customize things and link up. Um, ah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how cross-platform play would work. I don't know if it would be like make the experience really laggy and crap. I don't think it would. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a fighting game. You take it. You take it with a grain of salt. You know, it, either you're really into online, you know, or people some accept that it's not really a valid form of playing or practicing. You know, uh, it would it be great to have a really great online client for Smash, of course. Um, with that said, 
I, I don't know if I guess they want to focus more on the online experience being better rather than like a cross-platform experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not really that bummed that there is no cross-platform experience or you know play. Because to be honest, I don't know. Would you be able to tell if you're playing somebody on the Wii U or 3DS? Like I don't. It's it's a, it's different with like the Xbox and the PlayStation if they were cross-platform because some people only buy one thing or some people only buy one you know their PlayStation fanboy their Xbox fanboy and those are clearly two different consoles. But these are like they're they're portable and non-portable counterparts, so mm -hmm. the, the dynamic is different when you're talking about cross-platform cross -platform play. I'm not that bummed about it. I don't know about you guys. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It doesn't no. matter. I don't really no. care. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, would it be nice? Yes. Is it the fact that it's not there bad? <laughs> I don't really... I, I could... I can give them the fucks. I think Nintendo is more into the gimmicky, oh, like how they had with you can connect the Game Boy with the cable to the GameCube and it has some sort of weird interactivity that goes on. It'll be something like that. Mm -hmm. Some sort of like, I don't know, if you own both of them, you'll have like more access to features or like little mini games or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, you're right. And I mean, honestly, I think the cool thing they could have done with cross platform is like maybe like doubles would be cool, you know? Yeah. Like team games. Uh, I think doubles just in general would be a lot easier to manage on the 3DS too because you have your own screen. So, while well, like, the well, camera can the sometimes get like a little weird, like when doing uh, four people are kind of sitting far away where you have like weird doubles handshakes going on, Will, you know what's up. <laughs> Instead, like you have like your own screen, so you have four different screens for four different players to play, which is really nice to have. Yeah. Um, okay. So, with that said, we've covered all the news we want to cover. Um, we'll now take any questions you guys have from the stream. Uh, mm -hmm. Any more questions? Otherwise, uh, you guys have any lasting comments? I'll look at the stream a little bit, see what you guys are thinking. Um, yes, I am a I am Team Siren. Yes. Um, oh, sirens. Oh. oh, Impulse was awesome, by the way. Speaking of which, yes. Here's the Impulse 2013 t shirt. It's really nice. Yes. So good. That is a nice shirt. Um, I really did enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I want it's it. cool. You can get it if you uh, pre registered. It was like 20 bucks. They also had a booth set up there with a bunch of cool shirts. Mm -hmm. um, the, the event itself was amazing. Uh, mostly thanks to Chibo for making it and making it really hype. Because the stream was a huge success, and uh, it was a great stream. Glad you yeah. made it, by the way. After all the craziness. Me, me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm also glad I made yeah, it. Dude, reading reading that dying. story oh, at like one or two a.m. on on Facebook was like mind blowing. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, but um. Let's see. Look at all these other questions. Opinions on patching. We just talked about that. Um, are you guys willing to send the kill stage to the beach? I'm willing to, but I'm not going to. Uh, which character do you think will get cut? Cario uh, is gonna yeah, get cut. He, he's he's. Toon Link here. is gonna get cut. I think he is because um, because he's in the background of yes. one of those stages on the 3DS. Exactly. Um, Wolf's gonna get cut because I hate that character and I dream about it. Rob is gonna get <laughs> cut. Game and Watch gonna get cut. These are just my opinions. I'm not. Uh, Game efficient. Watch has been in since Melee though. I don't. Uh. I think it'll get cut. I think Ice Climb is gonna cut, get cut too. And I think that you're Pokemon throwing out trainer. a lot of cuts right now. I am. I am throwing. I out just. A lot of cuts. I just want Alamar to be cut. Just think but about I know it. If that's they're, not going to happen. Who? Like, Alamar. I know uh, he's going to be in the game, but Alamar's not going to get cut. Um, yeah. I think honestly, I think fucking Fox is going to get cut, dude. Just, no. <laughs> his run's been fucking long, dude. I think all those characters just get rid of them. Just all new characters. Imagine that's like that. saying Mario's done. He's had his chance. Mario's he, done, he's, dude. He's How cut. many games has Mario been in? So he's off. Um. I want to say, I, the reason why I say Toon Link is because of that stage. Yes. Well, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have totally guessed for Toon Link to be in it, like what with Wind Waker being remade in HD and. Right. Hmm. I agree. He's still agree. a very popular character, but the fact that he's in that stage is uh, questionable. Um, I agree. The original twelve are immune. I would <clears throat> put all my money on the original twelve being in every Smash game. I don't see Wolf coming back. That's just he's me, not though. original twelve. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just, for some reason, I don't see him coming back. Um, um, let's see, who else? Pit's going to be hype. Pit's going to be good in the new it's, game. Jigglypuff's going to be in it. He's original 12, I would say. Um, yeah. I feel like that's like the only reason why Jigglypuff is still here, too. It's like just because she's an original 12. And had she not have been, she probably would have been cut from Brawl, I think. 
Sure. I wonder if they'll stick to the same limiting shield mechanics for uh or the weird shield gimmick that if Jigglypuff shield well, breaks, probably it's been in what almost every every yeah, game. Every Jigglypuff's game, yeah. gonna stay. Jigglypuff, I, honestly, as much as I wouldn't mind Jigglypuff going, I don't see her leaving. Jigglypuff, I think, is still a pretty popular character, like in terms like for the anime and like yeah. that crap. I think she's like I would honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if, like Meowth showed up. He's still pretty popular too. Oh, and Jigglypuff did just get uh, retyped to the fairy type. He so he, they could he, give she, Jigglypuff. It did, yeah. So Jigglypuff could have like a new move now that's like a fairy based move. True. So um, to destroy all the dragons that are in Smash. Like that requires a boss, yeah. Yo, Salamence <laughs> though, new game. Um what other questions? Oh that's true. There's gonna be a lot of new Pokemon in the Pokeballs. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Other questions. How do you how, all right, in terms of Pokemon, we sort of just talked about that. Um how do you feel about stages? We really don't know about the stages. Uh, the questions? I think Battlefield is fucking beautiful. Battlefield, yeah, it oh, looked really, really good. good. I love the yeah. graphics in this game. I'm blown away by them. Some people said they're not that good. I wasn't. I it, love them. It looks too much like Brawl. Uh, what? It does. It looks very Brawl. Uh, I don't know. When I first saw it, it looked like a lot like Brawl. Well, it is based on the Brawl engine. Right. So um, naturally, things will happen like that. I think Skyloft is a new Delfino. It is. Yeah, it lands in places and stuff. Yeah. Um. Other questions. If our if our mains aren't in the game, what will you do? Well, uh, I know Chibo's main is Rob, but he also plays Samus, and Samus, DK, and Kirby are all in the original twelve. So I'm a Kirby main. I'm not using Kirby, but so I don't really care. I'm maining a new character. I'm sure Will sticking with DK. I should probably like actually so, sp speaking of which, since DK is going to be a new character, I'll probably like he, try his, to get. I'll try to get like a stream here. set up or something and like. Get me like playing with like DK and like figuring stuff out. His up like, has like an angle now. Yeah. That yeah, it looks like, it's like all wobbly and crazy. Maybe the like, box will be like crazy. more extended. Um, I'm probably gonna main villager out of the newcomers right now, and I'm out waiting. Of all three newcomers. <laughs> out of all three newcomers, I'm I'm maining a uh, villager, but I, don't, I haven't picked because uh, obviously all all the characters haven't seen. Uh, how hyped do you guys think the online features will be? Honestly, so much better. Much better, yeah. They're putting a lot more time into it, and I think they've realized that what they did with with Brawl was really crappy, and they don't want to. I mean, soccer, I didn't even like it. Like, they really don't didn't enjoy it. I think they're gonna look for a much better online experience because now that I remember this, you know, um, Nintendo just recently commented. I think it was like Iwata commented on it. I don't know who it was about the used game sin that's been going on with you know Xbox One, PS3, uh, PS4, and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nintendo, and they were confident on saying we're not worried about used games because we make games that people don't trade in. So with that said, I think Smash 4 is going to be one of those games where online is going to be a major thing they want to perfect because if there's one thing you can keep people doing is getting them to play online. I mean, exactly. Get Call of Duty, that's sort of their thing. You know, so especially with like a, a you know a fighting game, considering Smash fighting game here, um, having a good online client is is massively awesome. So, especially for people who don't have offline play, you know, there's a lot of people who don't play competitively, and there's people who don't have a lot of friends to play around with. So, online is a very big thing. And mm -hmm. for all, its internet was so bad, the connections were always crappy, the the options were terrible. I think they're they're gonna give us a lot more options. I don't know if there'll be like a leaderboard ranking system. Honestly, if it were up to me, I'd come up with like you know a ladder system like League and Call of Duty has, like with like 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 divisions and StarCraft. All that. Like that's that'd be cool. Yeah. But, uh, I don't think that would happen. Um, with the new online, how do you think the overall community for Smash will change? For example, our community is strictly offline based now that it has a Halo 3 COD environment. That's a good question. Smash, Smash is strictly not offline only. Like, exactly. Like, if people have never been to Always Brawl, I think they really severely underestimate just how big the online community is, which is really impressive considering kind of how bad Brawl's online technically is. Mm. There's so many people that hard body that shit every day <laughs> right yeah uh and again not everybody plays it competitively not every people you know have the time to you know play it practice it offline or yeah. um in terms of the community though smash will always you know we're talking about, if we're talking about the community i'm talking about the tournament com competitive community right uh, that's what i assume we're you know we're talking about here the community will be offline you know it's gonna it's going to stay that way. You know, if, if Street Fighter had the best online ever, do you think the Street Fighter community would stay only online? No. Um, with that said, 
you know, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna affect maybe the ex the accessibility of tournaments, which is good because the more people playing online, if it's a competitive atmosphere, that may make them want to play in tournaments. Maybe we'll see a more broadening of our, you know, the community itself. Um, again, anything could really happen. I don't think it'll be like Halo or Call of Duty like that, but those are also shooting games that really don't take much skill. Actually, I take that back. Halo takes skill. Um, fuck Call of Duty. So. Yeah, even if online is great, it would never match the hype of offline tournaments, correct. But online tournaments really aren't meant for that. They're more for prizes and, you know, skill and playing online. You know, um, offline tournaments are going to be the hype. Apex is going to be hype. Genesis is going to be hype. You know, Evo is hype. CEO is hype. That kind of crap. That's hype. That's where that's where the offline community would stay. That's where the mm -hmm. offline hype would be. And that's going to continue to be that way. And in fact, if we're all, we're all four, wow. <laughs> Smash four <laughs> for all four. I literally just died a little inside. I just said for all four. Um, imagine <laughs> that. If Smash four is as good as it as it as I'm thinking it will be, I'm really excited about it competitively. And if it really does get accepted more and it's really it gets it grows as it should, um, <laughs> the community will benefit from it. You know more. You know more than ever. And I was actually talking to um, a couple other people. The growth we now need from Nintendo. Or the support we need from Nintendo is now more important than ever, because if we do want Smash to grow competitively, uh, it's going to take more tournament organizers, more players, more you know tournaments themselves. But it's going to mostly take direct developer support and and involvement, because mm -hmm. you don't see StarCraft getting big without Blizzard. You don't see League getting big without Riot. You don't see Dota getting big without Valve. That's where if, if I think Smash can be a, can be an esport. I absolutely think so. It has the accessibility, the familiarity of it, and I think it can do that. With that said, it's not going to do it without Nintendo. So it now remains to be seen how involved Nintendo is going to be competitively, uh, which I think they will be more than Brawl, and hopefully Brawl benefits from that. So take it for what you take it for what you will. Um, Nintendo, a lot is riding not only on Nintendo to make a good game, but to support it. And give us what we need to grow, mm -hmm. so that way everybody enjoys Clash tournament streams. <laughs> I do want that. to throw out something real quick. Uh, evidently, an article was just posted on a website with a. I'll post it in the stream chat now about uh, Sakurai commenting on how Pokemon are selected for Smash. Okay. And he, like mm -hmm. one of the things he specifically mentions is uh, he does communicate with the Pokemon company itself to discuss like which Pokemon are like currently hot at the moment. Um, Interesting. But, like, he said sometimes it's tough to choose from new games like X and Y because they don't have community feedback on them yet because the game's not out yet. But then they can also look into, like, the anime and cards or things like that. Like, so <laughs> exactly. They, like, a lot of it's, uh, t like, taken from the company and then the community, uh, uh -huh. like, feedback from it. So I guess that's one key reason why, um, like, Lucario was, like, one of the original picked for Smash is because uh -huh. he was... Um, Clearly, like one of like the big focus. Well, he was Pokemon. gonna be in that movie. He yeah, was the exactly. Main character was, of that like, movie. So he was coming out in Diamond and Pearl, but he was in a movie. He was originally supposed to become a legendary, even though he wasn't in the end. But so he was, like, it's whichever one of the big characters focused. or Pokemon are the most hype well, or the most trendy going yeah. into. Well, that makes Smash sense though, because with Melee, I mean, that was right at the beginning of Pokemon's kind of. That was around the second gen. Mm -hmm. So who are they gonna look to? Pikachu, obviously, Jigglypuff, and and then when Melee came out, Mewtwo, and then Pichu, like those were those were popular characters at the time. Yeah. So it makes very so, much sense. That so technically, there's still a chance until this game comes out that we can really push for certain characters that we want in the game. Like especially if they only suggest that characters, if there's any sort of like forums or any any voting, like that would be really cool if you could like vote for characters in the game. Well, we don't know how set in stone the roster is though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be very much set in stone now. I don't think it's set in stone quite yet because if the game's like say a year and a half away, it does take a really long time to make a character. But mm -hmm. like if X and Y is coming out in October, I think it is. I'm telling you, that's going to be in this game. That's probably going to be like, like I don't think they'll have enough time for X and Y to come out, get community feedback, then release characters. So I kind of think the Honestly. Smash team has to kind of work off what's there now. So And what's it, there it, now is Mewtwo. Is Mewtwo. So if any X and Y Pokemon is going to be in it, it's going to be Mewtwo and nobody else, I think. Otherwise, then older characters. Or maybe like a Pokemon trainer with the new starters, maybe? Mm, I thought it would be cool if they did it so that way like the next Pokemon trainer is the second-gen starter. So you get like um, like Totodile, yeah. 
uh, I don't know, Cyndaquil. You know, they're fucking, I don't know what the yeah. hell they're names are meganium is I want to see Genesex. Somebody just said that in the stream chat and Genesex is like fucking awesome. Uh <laughs> Genesex would be cool, but I feel like I don't really it'd be like I I don't know, I just rather see Mewtwo. Oh no, I, yeah. Mewtwo by all means above everybody else. In um, my opinion. Do we want the old Mewtwo or the new Mewtwo? I think it'll be both. I think it'll be a transformation between awakened and original Mewtwo. So I think that's how they'll do it. Uh I feel like Snake might get cut. I think Snake's getting cut too. Really? I think I don't think Snake's coming back. Yeah. I I don't know. I he could. I, I think he could. I mean, I see him of, like if a third party character has to get cut, it's gonna be him instead of Sonic. But I still think Snake is a good chance, considering uh, Kojima has started pushing for Snake since back in Melee before even Brawl. I'm sure they kind of want to keep that kind of professional. Mm -hmm. Uh, link going there. Well, there was also something that you know we, we actually skipped over here, but Sok well, there was the thing that there's going to be less third party characters. Mm -hmm. So we already have Mega Man and Brawl has. Well, I don't think it's going to be less as much as just not there's not going to be that many. Okay, yeah. See, so that was yeah, it was weird. It wasn't like a confirmation. It wasn't like a like yes or no kind of thing. It was like vague. You know? Yeah, like um, we're not gonna have six or seven or eight. Like we're gonna have like maybe four tops. I, I wouldn't think. be I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, Sonic, Mega Man, Pac Man. <sighs> Pac Man, you're, you're one of those guys. No, I I think Pac I'm not I don't want Pac Man in the game. All right, good. Yeah, I'm I wonder I wonder who I'm is actually hyped for Pac Man. Pretty sure that he'll be in it. I don't yeah. know, but I mean, he, there's a new Pac Man game coming out. Namco is making the game. And Namco Sonic does not Mega get any priority over other third parties. I did. Sakurai specifically yeah. said that, though. But but that's not that doesn't that's not contradictory to what I said. Oh, I didn't yeah. say, I'm, I'm I didn't just throwing say, it out there. Right? Yeah, I'm not saying they don't get any first priority, but I'm saying Pac-Man's probably gonna be in the game. I feel like uh, I don't know. It just I Nam in the, in Pamco, uh, Pamco. Pac-Man <laughs> is Namco's like mascot. Yeah. Pac-Man showed up in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, even though he was in a big robot. There's a new Pac-Man game coming out. There's a Pac-Man TV show. Um, I, Pac -Man I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Mega Man, Sonic, Pac-Man, and that's it. Because then that would be representation for three third parties, and that would be good. Um, Pac-Man would have a chop move. I can't really think of a move set for Pac-Man. I mean, they came up with a move set for Captain Falcon. Came a move set for the villager, so That's a good they can come up with a move set for anyone. Like literally anybody can be in the game, and anyone could could have a move. They can come up with some weird ass crap. Come up with anything they want for a character. Um, how would you guys feel if your me could be playable? I'd be terrible. I hope he's banned in character in tournaments. I, don't like it. I hate me's. They completely take me away from the game. They look lame. I don't like me's. I hate them. Moving on. Next. <laughs> um, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly I hate me's. They, they they take away from it. It's like. They look lame. They don't add anything. That's why I was a little pissed about the Wii Fit trainer because now that I think about it, it's sort of cool. But dude, that it was definitely the most troll model, the most troll announcement ever of mm -hmm. that character. I haven't even touched a Wii device, a Wii Fit device, so Wii I don't Fit really is know sort anything. Of fun. I'll I'll give it that. It's <laughs> sort of enjoyable. Like it's not like I wouldn't I wouldn't go to someone's house and be like, yo, let's play some Wii Fit. <laughs> but it's more like it's pretty enjoyable as a product. Like I sort of I think that it's cool. Um, I don't know. She's obviously gonna be a popular character. Though, and she but... has yoga pants, yo. <laughs> yeah. So I'm all about that. Um, thoughts on the wrestling ring stage? I think that confirms Little Mac because I looked at some shit and it looks exactly oh, yeah. exactly, yep. exactly like they the plaster smash logos all over it. Well, it's I mean the they're same. gonna, but it's pretty much the same. Even the the rope colors are the same. I did see and, that, yes. The rope colors are the one same. Of the bosses, one of the bosses that comes out for the new Punch-Out comes out to a green light show, and one of the screenshots is Mario. Like, eh, really? Green light. I, mean, I mean, it's so confirmed. It's not even confirmed, but it's confirmed. <laughs> and I would love to see Little Mac. Yes, it's it's going to be... I, I'm telling you guys, Little Mac will be in the game. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Who's been asking? Um, do you think Ganon will be replaced by Demise, or will they be separate? Characters. I don't think Demise will be in the game. Demise might be like a boss or something. I don't think that would yeah. be cool. I think they're gonna. I, I don't know what they could do with Zelda. I think it'll be those same four characters. Um, yeah, we're gonna wrap up soon. Uh, yeah, so any we're gonna wrap in like five minutes. So guys, any more questions? Quickly. Oh. Uh, Start How about should wall. should Ganon use his sword in the next game? Yes, That's Ganon should question. use his sword. What do you What do you guys think? Um, 
That was so cool. I love Demise, though. I don't know. Uh, I, don't I think they should change uh, Gen's moveset a little bit, at least like make him more unique or better. La, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't want him to be a clone, that's for sure. Well, yeah. Um, do we think Falco is gone? No. Next. Um, Wolf Link? No. No. No Wolf Link. No. Um, nope, 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 nope. No, definitely not. Girahim. Is it Girahim? Yeah, Girahim. Girahim replacing Ganon? I hope not. That character's so lame. Even though Ganon hasn't been in a Zelda title for a bit, but it's I think he, he's 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 Ganon. You can't. But that's get why rid I'm a, I don't, But that's the thing. That's why I'm I'm a supporter of King K. Rule as well. Even though he's the most recurring villain in Donkey Kong overall. Is overall. he technically? Yes, he's appeared in most of the Donkey Kong Country games. Out of five, he's appeared in three. He appeared in Donkey Kong 64, all the land games, Donkey Kong King of Swing. And that he only was leaves, in King of Swing? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he was the boss of King of Swing. So that only leaves the Jungle Beat and like those kind of games and the last two Donkey Kong Country games. Other okay. than that, he's been in every one. I had no that's idea he was in King of Swing. Yeah, That's actually like a little also, bit more recent-ish. Also, he was in Super Sluggers, Mario Super Sluggers. That he was? was? All right, never mind. Maybe he has That's a more chance than I thought. So King K. Rule needs to be in Ridley. Needs to be in most recurring Metroid character. Doesn't show up in Metroid Prime, Hunters, Met Echoes, or Pinball or Two. Um, and can be resized because every character is resized, and that's a terrible. Ter uh, Charizard. I mean, flies. King K. Rule is like day to day size basically. It's not that bad. Ridley can be resized. That's a terrible, terrible <laughs> argument. Um, Charizard has wings. Meta Knight has wings. Pit has wings. They all fly. Next. I'm, seriously, I'll get at anybody with this Ridley argument. <laughs> the, the, the King K. Rule and DK team needs to happen. It just has to be. I agree. It I, just has to be. King K. Rule would be so cool. Like, they take him from Donkey Kong 64, like, the boxing. Like, oh, get in there. And then he goes, to, like, Baron <laughs> K. Rule with the fucking uh, the buckshot thing he has going on. Every character is resized. Olimar is not the same size as Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu's not the same size as Donkey Kong. Like, come on. Every character is resized to be an average character. Yeah. Right, uh, do you guys... Oh, sorry. Do you guys remember the article that came out uh, recently where Sakurai said the 3DS and Wii versions won't come out, might not come out at the same time because they're having some issues coding some characters for the 3DS versions, such as dual character characters like Ice Climbers? Now, do you think that means it's like an Ice Climbers confirm, or they're working on a different dual character system like Diddy and Dixie? I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you just said because I was focusing on the chat. <laughs> Say that again. There's an article that came out recently saying that uh, the Wii U and 3DS versions might not come out at the same time because of technical difficulties with coding some characters. Yeah, I did hear that. I did hear that. For 3DS, um, specifically like a dual player character such as Ice Climbers. Now, do you think that Sakurai would actually kind of let loose like that, that he's confirming Ice Climbers? Or do you think there's going to be others such as Diddy Dixie combo? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Dixie does show up in Tropical Freeze. Exactly. They they are a combo in that game. I they mean, so are is, a combo. So, so is DK Diddy, DK Dixie, but like we already see DK, he's in there. But I could see Diddy Dixie being a combo. I could see Diddy and Diddy. Wow. Diddy and Dixie <laughs> replacing Ice Climbers, but honestly, I wouldn't want to lose Diddy as a character. I like Diddy as a character. Mm -hmm. As as his own. Um. Yeah. I think the mechanics for Ice Climbers are already been pretty much figured out, so they're definitely hinting at something else. I think. But yeah, it leaves a uh, Diddy Dixie would be cool. I would agree. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, all you people, yeah, King K. Rule, all them, Nintendo owns them. I don't know you guys talk. I don't know why there's some misconception. They only own Banjo and Kazooie. So um, there could be a dual Pokemon do a uh, type of thing. Yeah, something. Um, something. Get plus a minute out of here. What do you think Garbage. of the Yellow Devil at the end of the Mega Man Smash Four trailer? Single player boss. Single player, yeah. I th I think every character is getting their own single player thing, and I think that's part of it. So, um, yeah, pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Because instead of doing like a subspace thing, they're gonna. That's what they're gonna do. So, um, any more questions? We're wrapping it up. Any any important questions? And by important, I mean ones that. Worth asking. Thoughts on Bowser and his drop kicks? I love the Bowser rework, and I think the drop kick reminds me of Hagger's drop kick in uh, Marvel Three, and I think it's pretty cool. What move do you think that is? I uh, I can't. Someone, tell yet. Someone, me and Cheese were talking about this. It looked like he parried. I'm, like, yeah, I'm not calling a parry. It looked, no, no, it looked like he parried, but I wasn't gonna call it one. There's too much time between the power shield and the drop kick. I agree. That's parry. what I thought at the end. It looked like a power shield into yeah a drop. 
or Dropkick. Um, Paper Mario, I think it would be great for the 3DS, and I would love to see him in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, if there's any reason to take out Game Watch, it's for Paper Mario. Like, I don't think it was a parry yet, you're right. Um, game & Watch, uh, Zero, you're not cute. Because you play Wi-Fi and you talk about it all the time on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Speaking right, of yeah. going hard on Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, yeah, maybe it was a perfect shield to tilt. All right, guys. It, was, it wasn't down tilt, though. You, a, you see his old down tilt somewhere else in the trailer. Exciting. God damn it, guys. I thought it looked like a parry. Whatever. Um, it could either be, I think, dash attack or F tilt. Not a ginger. Okay. I have no freckles. <laughs> um, well, what character do you want in the game the most? I said King K. Rool and Ridley. Dash attack, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? How will the scene grow now that Smash 4 releases? As I said, it'll come down to Nintendo's support and the continued support of our... T- as long as the support comes from both the community and Nintendo, it'll grow much more than we saw in Broad Melee. Um, that's it. Nintendo needs to get involved. That's that, that's the next that's the next pla- the, the plateau we're at right now. And we need to, need to cross it, need to get the, over that. And that's what's stopping us is direct Nintendo support. I mean, as great as developer support is, I don't want to say it's not needed, but... It's still the growth is gonna be so so much more than what Brawl was because like every time a new Smash game comes out, the whole world fucking goes exactly. deep shit. I agree. Like I, agree. I was I was running like weekly Friday tournaments, getting like 30, 40 people every tournament in Philadelphia, and then eventually just kind of starts to die down. But if you look at like media in Smash, between Melee to Brawl to now, our media is fucking out of con- like control now. So yeah. I think that when we get that huge influx of players, we're gonna be able to keep them so much better on our own. If you guys can imagine, when Brawl actually released, there was um, there was a Manhattan Play and Trade tournament um, that had 200 plus I entries, that, yeah. and that was like back in 2008. That was without that was just underground. That was just like a Play and Trade, like not, not even underground, with, like good, not even with good advertising. Yeah. So with with Nintendo's support, that would be here's a, here's the thing. I just if you look at other communities, the developer support is what just separates them from. The, from esports and not esports, and and by and by the way, I use the colloquial term <laughs> terminology of esports. I'm not talking about any game that's competitive. I'm talking about a true promoted, produced esport. The top three, I would, the only esports I would really consider out right now is StarCraft Two, Dota, Two, and um, League. Those are the esports, and I think Smash can really make it. They, it needs that developer support. Yeah. So one more question. Um, uh, we already answered the DLC one. Somebody give us a good question. Go, go, go. The next question the that's answered. The best question that's the best. The best question. Awesome. DLC, we already answered. Last, last question, guys. There's, what about Von Kaiser from Punch-Out? I don't even that's know who like, that is. I don't know who that is. No. No, <laughs> no dual fire one character. No. no one player no, classic, dual. maybe. Yes. That, When's that Marvel? Was, later. <laughs> When's Marvel? Later. When? How? What do we do to get Nintendo involved? Be awesome. Um, Clash tournaments. Let's go. <laughs> Be awesome. Promote your community. Don't promote. Uh, don't be fucking scumbags. Um, show that oh. you want. Get more. Oh, get Dakota. More what? Will Di continue after this? Uh, that, that's continue? the best question to end with, I think. Will Di well, continue after cons- this? Well, considering since uh, I don't know, Dakota just kind of brought this up upon upon us randomly. But I mean, we're, I'm I'm assuming we're gonna get really hyped leading up until Smash Four. Right, you know you're you're, you're a trendy ass. You're a trendy ass motherfucker. So just, you're, gonna, just, you're gonna make the hype train, and then I'll just we're I'll just answer it. this right now. Will Di continue on after this? Yes. There you go. There's your answer. There um, we go. There you go. So that's that was the last that was the last question. Um. So we're gonna be signing off. First of all, thank you, Chibo, for running this awesome stream. You're thank welcome. Will for coming in and uh, doing an episode DI with me for the first time in like a year and a half. And thank yeah, all you guys for coming in and watching and being a part of this. I really appreciate that. Um, who's the dude with the cap? I'm Rapture. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is DI going to continue? Who's that guy in the who's cap that guy? over there? What? Who's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, well, the, well there's going to be a, you're going to put up the recording of this, right? Yes. Yeah, so you guys will be able to um, watch this later. Uh, oh, we'll be doing dude, what? Dakota, do we have a we have a Twitter for d- d- uh, DI, don't we? Or no? No, no. we don't have a DI. If not, we should make one. We're going to make a make DI one. Twitter. Um, right but now, you guys can find us on the Directional Influence uh, Facebook group. Just look up Directional Influence. You'll see the logo. It'll be uh, easy to find. Follow me on Twitter, VV Rapture. Will follow us- me at William M. Walsh. Uh, Chibo has a Twitter. No, that's... What is uh? What is the Facebook page for Di? I'm I think it's just direction. It. I think it's just direction. You just type directional points. 
Um, if anybody makes a Twitter before us, I swear I'll fucking sue you. Oh, okay, um, it's a group on page. I see it. Um, yeah, maybe we'll make a we'll make a Twitter for DI. But yeah, we'll be doing more DI in the future, and just more from here. So thank you guys for tuning in. Much appreciated. Continue to play Smash. As more news comes out, we'll probably be back and talking about it. And uh, obviously, we're, I'm on Twitter talking about Smash all the time, so feel free to free, uh, follow me. So with that said, thank you guys for tuning in for this latest episode of Directional Influence of Smash 4 Spectacular. We'll see you guys next week. And by next week, I mean the next time we do an episode. Not literally <laughs> next week. Not, I don't want to get you guys too hyped. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody, all for right. watching. Peace out, everybody. All right.